Hello there, it's Rinch from Rinch Productions and in this video, uh, I know we're starting pretty dramatically but this is because we're doing a lightsaber tutorial. I saw the new trailer for the Kenobi TV series and I got really excited and hyped so I decided to do this uh, tutorial on how to make a lightsaber in After Effects. There's a lot of, you know, tutorials already on this topic but I decided to make one myself because I think uh, I will teach you something new that most tutorials don't really uh, show. Uh, so yeah, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and let's begin. Before we even start, I'm gonna say a few things. So you can do this entirely in After Effects without any third-party plugins, but it's really nice. It's gonna be easier if you get the Video Copilot uh, Saber plugin. Uh, it's free and you can download it. And the other thing is to get some LED lights and put them on your actual Saber to get lighting that's um, reacting with the environment, and that will really sell the effect. Okay, next thing, add a new solid and add the Saber plugin onto it. You should see something like this. Now onto the settings. First of all, you will see the preset option. These are different presets and each one of them gives a different look to the Sabre. Here you can change the core size, the core bias, the core spread or intensity. Uh, then you have the customized core options. Here you can see the roundness options, which depending on the angle of the shot, you can change to be more round or more sharp. Okay, after you're happy with your Sabre look, go ahead and add keyframes to the core start and core end. Before you start animating, you can, you can turn off the glow so it doesn't distract you. Then you need to go frame by frame and change the position of the start and the end point of the saber. I would suggest when there's a big movement happening, go frame by frame, but when it's moving really slowly, go 3 or 4 frames forward and then add a keyframe, so it automatically puts the keyframes for you. That way it's not gonna jitter. Okay, after you've done this for like, say, 30 minutes, you'll realize that you haven't done anything. Here you can see the end offset option which will uh, animate the saber light up. Now I'm going to show you a trick that I haven't seen many people show on YouTube. We're going to do what we just did but with tracking points. Select your clip and go into the tracking panel. Select track motion. Then put this tracking point onto the start of the saber. This obviously works only in some conditions, it's not always going to work. Keep that in mind. Then go ahead and click the analyze forward button. Now in most cases your truck will probably have some errors, you just need to go and manually fix it uh, frame by frame. Ok now create a new solid, call it Saber Start. Now click on Edit Target then select that solid. Then click Apply. Now we have a solid that's moving with the start of your lightsaber which is obviously not what we need, so hide it. Now go into the Core Start keyframes, while holding Alt click the stopwatch, go to Layer, General, Parent. Now connect that to the position of the new layer that we just made. Now we have the start of the saber automatically tracked. Now create a new solid for the end and do the exact same thing. Now you have the whole saber tracking automatically. Obviously when for example the core end goes off screen you need to track it manually, but this method in general just saves a lot of time. Also when you're masking your saber behind your subject, always in the render settings select mask core. For the final touches, I added some color correction, some fog, and some sparks on the ignition of the lightsaber. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and till next time.